Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Jack Harlow because I'm so tired of him pandering to the black woman. I really am. He couldn't use Dolce Cat, Chloe, Sweetie, or Normani. He tried to hold on to that little Nas X feature as long as he could. So now he has gone onto Instagram to write an essay because one of his fans went back and forth with an officer. Now the officer did put his hand on that young lady's neck and he shouldn't have done that. But they were getting aggressive with each other. And then Jack Harlow writes that he wants to give this young lady a hug and lifetime tickets to his concerts. Who the hell wants lifetime tickets to see Jack Harlow? You not Drake? Like, come on, man. You need to go give that lady some money if you really care about her. Okay, you got one hit record. So that doesn't even make no sense. And Jack Harlow does this all the time. Okay, he always tries to attach himself to somebody black so he can get a bigger fan base in hip hop. Okay, just let your talent speak for itself. Stop trying to, you know, take pictures with Chloe and Normani and walk up to Sweetie and flirt with Dolce Cat. It's not working. Okay, stick to being Adonis's older brother. Okay, and maybe have Drake mentor you. You seem like you need a mentor. Okay, because what you're doing now is not working. Stop pandering to black women. Y'all talk about Big Sean. Nobody's worse than Jack Harlow. Okay, Jack Harlow, he's the worst. Moving on to Nicki Minaj and Irvin. I bet you Irvin wished. He has stuck beside Nicki Minaj right about now because one of his biggest clients, Travis Scott, is going through it, okay? He has been losing deals left and right. Now, if you don't know who Irvin is, Irvin was Nicki's old manager. They parted ways because, you know, Nicki was getting a lot of negative controversy in regards to her case, but nothing is worse than this Travis Scott situation, okay? Because now he's in a billion dollar lawsuit, a billion dollar. With that being said though, Travis Scott has been losing deals left and right. He even begged to perform at Coachella for free and they still rejected him. He didn't really have to deal with that when it comes to Nicki Minaj. Because as we know, Nikki loved to stay home. But next year, when she puts out some magazine covers and, you know, some collaborations and, and she might be out and about, he's going to wish that he has stuck through it with Nicki Minaj. Okay? And once Nikki is vindicated, he's definitely going to wish he has stuck by Nicki Minaj. Okay, see, everybody wanted to clown Nikki all year, but then when she comes out winning, everybody wants to go back to team Nikki Minaj. It's so funny to me. Everybody was clowning Nikki. Oh, she don't leave the house. Oh, what has she been doing all year? And she still made more money than all these chicks and niggas. Okay. And. Nikki is going to have the biggest hype in 2022 because everybody is watching to see what she's going to do. Same thing with Rihanna and Beyonce. Everybody's going to be watching to see what these three ladies do to see if they're able to top what they've done before. Okay? And I feel like organically, Nikki could do it if Republic helps her. Okay, she can't do it alone. She's going to need Republic to actually help her. And the only thing that was really stalled was the documentary. Okay, um, with HBO Max, which if it still comes out on HBO Max, he can still get a cut. 
But if it don't, then he's not getting no money from that. But this goes to show you that just because somebody is down, that doesn't mean they're taking it all. Okay? They can end up winning. And it's kind of sad to see what's going on with Travis. But at the end of the day, you know, it was his symbolism and he got to pay the price for it. So let me know what you guys think. Moving on to Zendaya and Tom Holland, a producer named Amy for the Spider-Man um, film basically said that she told Zendaya and Tom not to date, but they did not listen to her. Now, me personally, I do not care for them as a couple. I feel like they look awkward together. Um, you know, I get it. It could be for, you know, the glitz and glam, you know, more publicity for both of them. But I don't really care to see Zendaya with this guy. Um, they just look awkward to me. It's not really giving. But I will say that I feel like them being a couple gives the movie more publicity and more attention. But she probably did not want them to date because if they break up, they might not want to film together or do kissing scenes or it can cause a lot of drama. And she even admitted that it could complicate things, you know, if things go wrong, which is understandable, but you cannot tell people not to date unless it's in their contract. Now, if they sign the contract and it says that they are not allowed to date, then it would make sense. But just telling them and expecting them to listen to you, I don't know about that. That doesn't make any sense because, you know, they are grown. Now, I'm here for Zendaya. You know, I'm hearing that she wants to get back into the music scene. And I like Zendaya. She can dress. She can dance. Um, and I think she's a pretty girl. But she gives me, I don't know, butch vibes. I feel like I can see her. Well, I wouldn't say I can see her. But I feel like I wouldn't mind if she dated like a woman, maybe like a Selena Gomez or a Vanessa Hutchins. I feel like that would give her more publicity. Because if you even watched, you know, that show she's on, I believe, HBO Max, um, she's a lesbian basically on that show. Okay, and I feel like that's more for vibe. I don't know. It's just, it could be me. I don't know. I just feel like that's more for vibe. Um, but her and Tom do look awkward to me. Um, but I don't really care for them as a couple. But I do hope that they last. I would not hope that they break up if, you know, she's happy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And have an amazing day.